Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is Saturday, March 29th. And in my last video, I said that I hoped my Centauri Carbon was gonna be shipping soon. And we're about a month out from the estimated shipping date of April 30th. And something had to have been speaking to me because yesterday I got the notification that my Centauri Carbon had shipped. And it is here today. So in preparation, I started doing some reorganization of my desk and my studio space in my office. Uh, and I came to the realization I'm going to have to be moving into my basement pretty soon once I get outlets down there. So for now, I'm going to redo this space. I already moved some things around and the Centauri Carbon got here very quick. It got here early this morning compared to when it said by 6 p.m. So it's here. I'm going to get it out of the box, show you guys, and we can go through the initial setup process for the first time. All right. So just as an update, I moved my A1 that was here, my original A1 over to the far side. So now I have the three of them here, one, two, three. Kept this space open and I now put my A1 mini next to my computer and my desk setup. Kind of because I've been using that more as like a prototype printer anyway. Have it there on its own studio space and we're gonna get the uh, Centauri set up and hopefully it fits here. It should be about 19 inches uh, with the spool attachment on the side and this gives me just that much, much space so we're going to see right now if it works. User manual, a little user guide that I think I could follow to take this out. So take out the foam and toolkit from the printer. Let's do this. Put that there. Oh, Jesus. That's not safe. Thank God I didn't drop that. Uh, to be fair, all right, to be fair, it says take out the foam and toolkit from the printer, not take out the glass screen first that's on top and loose from the packaging of the printer. So to give myself a little credit, it said foam and toolkit. So let's put this off to the side. That is glass. Oh boy. Okay. Personally, I want to just make sure that this thing is in one piece and it's not like cracked or anything. The box had a little bit of a hole in it. They're going the elegant, they're going the, oh, oh. Toolkit. Yes, toolkit. So we got rapid PLA, tools, a bunch of other stuff, the spool attachment, the screen, and the power cable. Put this off to the side. Where's that? Okay, so took the foam and the tool. Okay. This is all, okay, and there's more foam. Oh. Okay, that's all the foam I see. Oh, I gotta take the whole printer out. That's what it's telling me to do. Can I grab it by the, uh, oh boy. This doesn't feel secure enough to grab it by the. Uh... This is a two person job. Yeah, this is a two person job. I'm gonna get my fiance. All right, so this fits. It just fits. So getting a spool on here will be tough. I would have to take, oh yeah, this would actually be really tough. Oh yeah, basically would have to like, That works fine, but all right, I made a judgment call. Put that one back. This is a much better setup for this. No issues with space. I can keep it close and it fits pretty perfectly. Let's go with this. If I want to, if I hate it, I'll change it.
nothing that attaches it. It just sits here. Nice. All right. Connect to the internet and update firmware before use. Let's turn this sucker on. Ooh. Aha. Let's see what we got. English. Use a hex screw to remove the three screws shown in the image. So there's like a triangle pattern. Let's open this up. We'll take a look. Yep, I can see them. Let me grab a, uh, just a normal, yeah, so they send you all the tools you need. They actually sent me grease, a glue stick, thumb drive, looks like some cleaners, some PLA test, and then the tools. Okay, continue. Ensure the chamber is free from foreign objects, then click Confirm. Start self-check process. Place the build plate correctly with side A facing up. Press it to expect it to last 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's going to go through nozzle heating, heated bed heating, heat brake cooling fan, mainboard cooling fan, input shaping, and automatic leveling. So it says it's going to take 30 minutes. Let's see how long it takes. All right. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get the internet set up. All right, got a spool of Elegoo waiting. Let's go ahead and feed it through the sensor. Okay, I just felt a stop. All right, just kicked off the first print, Benchy. All right, so the first print, it started, but it wasn't extruding filament, and I realized I did not push the filament through the tubing enough. So I guess I'm a little too privileged with the bamboo AMS light, where it pulls it automatically once I import, uh, put it in. So got that all the way through. I think this is gonna turn out at least extruded filament. So let's see. All right, printing complete. Took 15 minutes, seven seconds. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh. Oh, I guess it had some uh, gray filament in it from testing before the black came out. But wow, I'm very impressed. Some stringing, well, not stringing, but a little bit of wispies. But man, this came out really nice. That's great. Ooh, I'm really happy with this. So my audio didn't work for this clip, guys. But basically, I sent my first print to the printer from Elgu Slicer. And I left it without checking on it for the first couple minutes. Came back 30 minutes later. And this is what I found. So, well, let's go see what this issue was and if I could have prevented it or if it was my fault. All right, so that error was actually user caused uh, when I was adding the printer to Elegoo Slicer. Uh, when you re-add the printer, it basically resets the profile. So it had reselected Elegoo PLA instead of the PETG Pro. Did that, sent it to the printer, and it looks like we are doing well. So 49 minutes left, and we'll come back and check this out. It's finished up while I was out. 
first impressions. Wow. <laughs> I used, so I used Elegoo Pet G Pro. Um, didn't really do anything other than select the filament and then add the same settings that I normally do when I print these on the bamboo printers. And this is extremely impressive. I don't think I've ever, I'll, I'll be honest, I've very rarely gotten this type of quality with Elegoo filament on the bamboo printers. Um, I also have never really, I've used Elegoo profiles that I found, I've never really fine tuned them myself. But man, does this come out extremely well polished and way faster than it does on the A1 Mini or the A1. So, got to get some more supports off this, obviously, but extremely, extremely pr impressed with the first test print. That was not the Benchy. Not sure if I showed uh, the way the spool attaches, basically, but this basically spins in, turns in, and locks into place on the printer. You fill it in through the sensor here all the way until you hit a stopping point. Uh, I went and printed a purge bucket that I found on Maker World for this printer specifically. I just had to basically unscrew those two holes there, lock it into place, and then just screw them back in. But the whole the, the screws are already there. So whoever designed this knew that this was for the Centauri Carbon. Not sure if I showed this as well, but I almost dropped this because it's actually not attached. Kind of just rests on top with these felt slots but what a beautiful machine truly so i obviously have a lot more to do with this printer a lot more models to test a lot more features to test but over my first couple hours with it i am stunned that this is under 300 dollars. made really well the features that it has right on the surface are unbelievable and the print quality and the print speed are just as good as you can get from any top tier machine on the market today so Elegoo really did outdid themselves. I'm excited to keep testing with it. Mess around with some different filaments that I have never printed with. ABS, ASA, carbon fiber, PLA, all sitting about three feet from me, ready to be put on this this absolute beast of a machine. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Just wanted to get this set up, get it going, so show you guys and see if you guys had any questions. And there's definitely going to be more footage coming in within the days and weeks for the Centauri Carbon and what we can do with it. So... Thank you guys for checking this out. If you have any questions or anything you want me to touch on now that I have it in my hands and in my office, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.